Okay, welcome to our last, hopefully, Fast Friday of the recorded versions. We're going to still do some live workouts for you, but not with me talking. So enjoy this Fast Friday workout, guys. we got jumping jacks, and I need the time to actually turn that on. On your marks. Get set. There we go. We got our jumping jack combo, cross jack, split jack. Get this party started. Whew. All right, you guys have done a great job hanging in there. Monday, we're going to be back to real, although... Only a certain amount of people are going to get back in. I understand that might be difficult for some, but those who have been in contact with me and have been a member all along, you're probably in pretty good shape for the early morning classes. We'll get the email out this weekend of who's in what class, but we're going to have to keep people down to three classes a week, in the mornings anyways. If people want to sneak in a noon class here or there, they might be able to. Whew. But uh, nine people looks like the max will be able to fit in here without having masks on. And I'm pretty sure that's what people would prefer to do, working out with no masks. You need 14 feet because that's what they scientifically figured out works. All right, next up is a sumo a little sidestep. You're just getting low in a sumo squat and take a couple side steps And a little high knee pull after you do that. Something like a side shuffle like we do in here. that back to normal uh, all right Whew. yeah so everyone will be assigned either Monday Wednesday Friday six or seven or Tuesday Thursday Saturday six or seven I do believe the nines the 10 30s the 12s the afternoons we'll be able to just let people sign up on mind body as normal and we'll see what happens. Lunge with the twist is next. Lunge and twist. Although I feel in East Greenwich we'll have a lot more room. I can fit probably more than nine, so I don't think we'll have to assign people their class times. We shall see. We shall see. All going to play out this weekend. All right. Right there. Here comes Narragansett rubbish removal, if you couldn't hear. Or if you couldn't smell. Whew. That's a big old waft. That's not the bacon smell we normally get. Holy crap. That's a brand new truck. How does it smell so bad? Come on, Lucas, you gotta clean your trucks better. Oh. Inchworms. We got inchworms next. Sorry for the distraction. Whew, good thing smell vision isn't a real thing. Ooh, boy, it is slippery, huh? It is humid. Alrighty. Of course, it wouldn't be a fast Friday without some form of levity being added to our morning. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. This thing is so freaking loud. I'll let you know when we switch, but keep up those inchworms. Whew. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. Just so those at home can know what I'm dealing with, I'm going to put the lot YouTube. All right. We got the big old truck out there. Doing his job. Doing his job. All right. Next up is squats. Good fashion squats regular squats head up chest up working on form working on technique keeping the weight back on those heels yeah I'm not gonna try to yell over this guy so hopefully he'll be gone soon I could say something about guys and shaking things, but we'll leave that be. Yeah. Whew. All 
Oh, you know we have the door closed. That's why it's not so loud. All right, there he goes. We have plank walk-ups next. Plank walk-ups, regular old hand to elbow to hand. Nice and easy, it's just a warm-up. We're just going nice and slow, taking your time. Working on your technique, keeping those glutes tight. All right, down, down, up, up. All righty. Whew. Yeah. All right, I can hear myself think again. Hopefully you guys can hear me talk again. Ooh, man. Yes, we had a lot of smells coming in, lots of noises coming in. That was fantastic. You guys got that to look forward to when you come back to the gym. All good stuff. All right. Whew. All right, guys, get a little, uh, little more time here on your plank walk-ups. Then we go to our hip Roll, that is up next. That's your side lunge to your prisoner. All right, back to normal, back to normal. Whew. Uh -huh. All right, now we're getting warmer, getting the body loose. Well, it's pretty warm out anyway. It's very humid out there. It's one of those slippery floor days here in the gym, but uh, getting juices flowing, heart rate's getting up there a little bit. Next couple exercises will help with that as well. Got a nice fast Friday for you, all right, with the outside exercises and the inside exercise. So you need some steps, hopefully. You can modify with jumping jacks and, and jack-in-the-box squats, I suppose, if you don't have steps. Other than that, just a weight and a mat, and we're good to go. Next up is going to be your high knees and heel kicks in your own space. little high knee kick. Chop, chop, chop. Get a couple of those in, and then butt kicks, All right? Da, 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 da. It's amazing what we can do in a small little space. Again, everyone's been very creative in getting their workouts in and getting these done. You should be very proud of yourselves, those that have been working out this whole time. Again, tons of emails and texts. Some people who didn't really realize they were doing their workouts three days a week. They get the printout, they watch our video, they hopefully are getting entertained as well as getting in shape as we do these things, right? And um, a lot of people looking forward to getting back. Again, we're going to be working out without masks. You can certainly wear a mask as you come into Manic, but we're doing the 14-foot uh, space so that you do not have to wear masks. And um, so it's going to limit our numbers just a little bit, but that's the only alternative. We've got our chest and knee, knee to chest stretch, so heel down, toe up. All right. Um, and hopefully we'll only have to do this for a few weeks if everyone is good and the whole state starts to continue to come down in numbers. Hopefully by July, we'll be able to open up to everybody with no restrictions, which would be fantastic. I do apologize to any summer people that might be seeing these videos that want to come in. I'm going to have to hold off. We're going to only have classes for locals. Again, my, my uh, veterans and my, my loyal people have been coming for years. I just can't let people just kind of come in after nine months of being absent. Hopefully you understand that. You'll still have the opportunity to get these workouts in at home, All right? I'll still make these printouts. I'll still do the description video the night before. I'll probably even do the core workouts. So you'll have five workouts that you can do at home. But uh, with a limited space, we're going to keep to those people that have been loyal here for a while. We're going to do our jack-in-the-box to finish. A little minute of getting that heart rate up before our workout gets going. All right. And again, a little quick description. If you guys are, I'm sure, pretty familiar with this style anyways. The main workout, we're doing three rounds, all right? We're going to start with our number ones. Do our V climber, 10 each side. Then you're going to do your 20 step ups. And then you're going to do your plank walk up. That's under your core. And then we do the twos, the goblet lunge, 20 step ups. And our lying toe touch. So on and so forth, all the way down round one. Round two, same thing, but instead of step ups, we do box squat jumps. Round three, we get rid of the core exercises. We do both step ups and box squat jumps in between 
our exercises. And then the bonus round, if anyone's still here, is going to be just the core. Everyone loves doing just the core. That should be fun at the very end. We'll see how we do. All right, guys. Nice job. We should be warm. Turn this clock off. Whew. Wipe the bras. I'm sure it's getting sweaty down in people's basements. Unless you get the dehumidifier on. Turn that dehumidifier on. That makes the basement a much more enjoyable place to work out in. Alrighty then. Get your stuff again. All right, we're going to be doing three rounds of our exercises. You need a dumbbell and or a kettlebell for all your exercises. You get your mat for your core, core exercises and the stuff in the middle. That's all steps. So if you guys are ready to rock and roll, we're going to start with the dumbbell or kettlebell. Your V climber is one arm going up in the air, opposite knee driving up at the same time. We do 10 on each side. Ready, set. Let's get going. Happy Friday. V climbers, 10 on each side to start. Get strong, driving that arm up. Opposite knee squeezes as it comes up. 10 on one side and 10 on the other. All right, remember, long workout, so we're not looking to do max weight here. This is about a fast Friday, so we're doing reps in a pretty fast pace. Obviously, still keeping good control. Good form, we go to our step ups after your first set of V climbers. We got 20 step ups. If you don't have steps at home, bang out those jumping jacks. It's gonna go, 20 jumping jacks will go faster than 20 steps, so you can always do 30 or just move when we move. That works as well. You got plenty of opportunities to get these steps in though. We got lots of steps, lots of box squat jumps, all in short numbers though. 20 isn't so bad, 10 aside. Find that rhythm, find that pace, getting that heart rate up. When you finish with your step ups, we got plank walk ups, just like we did in the warm up. But we got 10 of them, we're counting now. Down, down, up, up. Try to alternate which arm you go down on, which one you come up with. So we do five on one side, five on the other. All right, nice job. Make sure we're breathing, getting that steady breath in. All right, as so we do some slow exercises to some fast exercises, the heart rate naturally goes up, goes down. Goblet lunge is going to be next after your plank walk-ups. Grab that weight under the chin. You can go forward, you can go backwards, but let's not go to the side. No. How many? 20 lunges. That would be 10 on each side. All right, again, with that weight, Hopefully it's a comfortable weight. You can get your 20 without having to stop, without having to rest. Just get that groove going right through it. Mm, nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Okay, keeping that breath in line. Nice deep breathing. Again, you finish your lunges. You go to your middle to do your 20 step ups. Still in the round one. 20 step ups. Find that rhythm, find that pace. All right, this is where you can increase the intensity by going with higher boxes if you have them, go faster, moving those arms more, or just get into a nice easy rhythm. Use it as your active recovery. Nice work, nice work. Now we go to our lying toe touch. That's number two on our core exercises. So we're lying down. We're going to bring one hand up, touch that toe. And again, many different ways you can make this harder or easier. You can keep the feet off the ground the whole time. You can bring your shoulders up off the ground and come up way high and touch. You can keep the shoulders on the ground and just kind of touch the toe as you bring the leg up as high as you can. So find where your comfort zone is and go a little bit past that. All right, we're doing 20 of these, so 10 each toe. Now the challenge, if we were doing this barefoot, I would make people go index finger to index toe, and then middle finger to middle toe, and then ring finger to ring toe, and then pinky finger to pinky toe. You'd really have to think doing it that way. That would be fun. Or not. Woof. All right, line toe touch is done for number two. We're up to number three, high pull. Just 10 of these, so take your time, get nice and low, right? 
Squeeze those glutes as you bring that weight up nice and high under the chin. Drop down as low as you can, or you can do these more of a deadlift style and bend more at the waist than only a slight bend in the knee. I definitely do these two ways, more like a squat, drop in the hips, or kind of like a deadlift, drop more at the waist. But just 10 of them before you go back to your step ups. 20 step ups. Get that rhythm, get that rhythm. Nice pace. Good work, guys. Good work, good work. As the fog continues to roll in here, ooh, gets a little bit cool wind coming in. After your step ups, we got our side plank. It's a crunch march combo, so you're gonna go crunch march equals one. You're gonna do that ten times on each side. So the knee comes, the elbow comes down close to the palm of your hand that's on the ground, and then it comes forward to touch the knee right in front of your belly button. And again, you go crunch march one. You do that ten times, and then switch to the other side. Crunch march combo. Nice work. Keep breathing. Keep a nice steady pace. All right, get that range of motion. If you can get that elbow to touch, the palm of your hand and then touch the knee. That's good. Or as close to that as you can. You end up doing 10 crunches, 10 marches per side. Whew, finish that up, that's number three. Now we're gonna stay on a side plank, but up on your hand, because we are rowing. So if you've got a dumbbell, that makes good sense. If it's a kettlebell, it makes it a little more tricky, but I'm sure we can make it happen. We're trying to keep our shoulders nice and stacked right on top of a nice straight arm. And then keeping that balance, keeping the feet stacked, makes it a little more difficult. You can put one foot in front of the other to give yourself a little more balance. You could always drop to a knee if you're struggling on one side. That's fine as well. 10 on each side is our goal here. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Finish those 10 on each side. You know the deal. We're back to our step-ups. One step ups. Keeping that heart rate up, nice and elevated. Nice job. After your 20 step ups, or onto mountain climbers. And if anyone gets there before us, just making sure you know where you're at and what you're doing. All right, nice job driving those knees. Keeping those hips not too high up in the air. Well done. Halo is going to be next, so we're going to keep our hands at least eye level the whole time as we go around our head. Get back to eye level, reverse that direction, try to get a big old range of motion. All right. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. And these are only 10. These are only 10. So try to keep those elbows up high the whole time. As you go up and around, up and around. After your halo, you're back to your steps. Nice job. Nice job, guys. Just so we know where we're at. If you guys are at a different pace, we had side plank row. You did your step ups. Then the mountain climbers brought us to our halo. After the halo, we go back to step ups. After your step ups. Knee hug press is going to be the next exercise in that middle. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Whew. All right. If you can use a weight, fantastic. If not, no weight. It's fine. It's only 10. You can use a weight. No big deal. All right. As the knees come in. We press that weight up and out of the way. All right, guys, good work. So again, where is everyone at? We had mountain climbers, we did the halo, we did the step ups. We are now on to knee hug press. All right. 
Just 10. Just 10 of the knee hug presses. Good work. Good work. Good work. Woof. Cruising here. Cruising. All right. Next, number six on our list. Last one is a little combo. One side. You're going to clean. You're going to squat. You're going to press. You're going to lunge. Just like a complex, but without the push-up. You can go overhead or you can keep it racked. Do your lunge. Whatever works. Four on each side. Again, we're moving through this one. We clean it. We squat it. We press it. We lunge. Four and four. All right, good work, guys. Good work, good work. Again, you can lunge with the weight racked, or you can keep it overhead and lunge, depending on how you're feeling. Whew, nice job, guys. Nice job. After you finish your four each side of your clean squat press lunge combo, we go back to those step ups. All right, last round of step ups. For round, well, last step ups in round one, I should say. Not the last step ups we're gonna do, still plenty more to go. Rhythm, nice pace, good work, guys, good work. Again, we had the halo, you did your step ups. Knee hug press, clean squat press lunge, step ups. On to our last exercise around one. It's a whip row, we call it. It's like a seated row, but you're going to bring both hands to one side. So it's like a combination seated row with a little bit of a Russian twist, but rather than touching the ground, we're just kind of whipping our hands to the side, right? Woof. And we got 20 of them. Nice job, nice job. Getting that core, working hard. All right, so again, you had the knee hug press. You did your clean squat press lunge combo for each side. You did your 20 step ups. And to finish, we are on our whip row. Nicely done, guys, nicely done. Again, if you're at home going at your pace, you might be somewhere different. Hopefully you got your sheet so you can follow along. Well done, well done. That equals round one. <clears throat> For the most part, everything all stays the same. The only thing that's going to change, instead of doing step-ups, you're going to do box squat jumps. It's only 10, though. It's only 10. So it's very manageable. Get that drink in. Whew. Wipe that brow. I think I'm going to get myself a drink. Ah. And then another drink. My other water bottle. Yes, I have two water bottles. One has peppermint, one has electrolytes. Enough of me, let's get back to round two. V climbers, if you guys are ready, here we go. One arm, opposite knee, drive that arm up, squeeze that knee up, ten on each side. Of course, if you get stuck doing the same side, that's fine as well. There's nothing wrong with doing the same side V climber. I like doing the opposite side for whatever reason, it just... Sometimes it's more natural for some people to do that. Really doesn't matter too, too much as long as you're keeping nice balance, nice long spine, driving that arm up, driving that knee up, 10 and 10. All right, now to our first round of box squat jumps. We only got 10 of them. Now, if you don't have steps, you get a low ceiling, you don't want to jump up on the box, jack in the box is the alternative. 10 of those. Getting low, getting low, getting low on those squats, right? It's only 10, so get that butt low. As you jump up, hands up over the head. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. After this, you got your plank walk-ups. 10 plank walk-ups. Remember, only 10 of your box squat jumps. I don't want anyone getting mad at me because I did 20. Not my fault. I wrote it down. I told you. All right, now the heart rate's up a little bit. What's that? I say what you said. <laughs> Not my fault. I said, I said it. You heard me. Now, what a teen hears is very different from what you actually say, I've learned. <laughs> All right, well, what we got next? Goblet lunge. Grab that weight, tuck it under the chin. Forward or reverse lunge. Here you go. Nice job, nice job.
Yes, I'm starting to learn that teenagers certainly have very select hearing. We could have full conversations in front of them, but they are totally oblivious. Even if it's about something they want or to interest them. <laughs> what a 15-year-old boy thinks about? Hmm. It has nothing to do with what's going on in our actual conversation. <laughs> when those actually ever happen. All right, where are we at? We got goblet lunges going on, right? So we started this workout with the V-climbers. This round, I should say, with the V-climbers. You did your box squat jumps, then the plank walk-ups. After the plank walk-ups, we're on goblet lunges. That's where I see most people on right now. Finish your goblet lunges, and back to the box squat jump, or jack in the box. Ten of them. Nice, nice, nice. Rhythm is always important with that. Lying toe touch is going to be next. All right, we're lying down. Big old arm comes up, touches that toe. 20 of them, 10 each side. Again, keep the feet up off the ground for a little bit more intensity. If you got lower back issues, keep the feet on the ground maybe. It makes you feel a little bit better. Sometimes if you put a hand under your butt, it shifts your hips in a way that makes it a little more comfortable. So that way you would just do 10 on one side and then switch sides. But again, driving those shoulders up as high as you can is another way to make that more intense. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Nice job, guys. When you finish your lying toe touch, next up is going to be your high pull. Hopefully you got a kettlebell. If not, you can use a dumbbell for that. We got 10 of your high pulls. Good work, good work, good work. Keep the breathing up. Nicely done, nicely done. All right, get those 10 in. You're back to your box squat jumps. You know it. Now we're starting to get into that rhythm, starting to get that flow going, right? Nice job, guys, nice job. Woof. Well done, guys, well done, well done. Box squat jumps. Then move to your side, plank, crunch, march, Combo, side plank, crunch, march, combo. We got side plank rows next. All right, so we do that elbow down to the ground, elbow towards the knee. 10 times each side, nice, good, control, right? Squeezing, keeping the balance, not letting those hips drop too much. 10 on each side. Whew. All right, good work, guys. Good work, good work. All right, so let's review again. We had goblet lunge, box squat jumps, lying toe touches, kettlebell or dumbbell high pulls, box squat jumps again. We are on side plank crunch march combo. Ten each side. If you're done with that, you move on to the side plank row. That'll be next. Up on your hand to do the side plank row. Get that big old range of motion. Ten on each side of your side plank row. All right. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh, we lost something. Where'd you go, Carrie? All right, beauty, beauty, beauty. Ten on each side of your side plank row goes then to your box squat jumps in the middle. You guys are starting to get used to the rhythm here, right? I can't get that song out of my head. What is it? The rhythm is going to get you. Is that Gloria? Is that Gloria Estefan? Yes, and I thought of it a few minutes ago. <laughs> yes, funny the things that pop into your head. <laughs> I've been thinking about that for a while, though, because when I get into 
mountain biking the other day. I was. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah. That's funny. Ten of your box squat jumps to mountain climbers next. Twenty mountain climbers. All right. Woo! Keep the breathing up. Keep the breathing up. If you need a little respite, deep breath. Get a sip of water, maybe wipe that brow, but let's get back to it. It is Fast Friday. We're meant to be moving quickly in between exercises. That's the whole point. All right, keeping that intensity up. So we did our side plank row, uh, box squat jumps, mountain climbers. Now we're on to Halo. Halo. Nice job, nice job. Ooh, keeping those elbows up nice and high. Get that big range of motion, keep the core tight. We're squeezing, actively squeezing your core muscles, right? Come on, hold on, hold on tight. Good work, guys, good work, good work. Halo goes back to those box squat jumps again. Woo, here we go. Well done, guys, well done, well done. Ten of your box squat jumps will then move on to knee hug press. Isn't ten just a nice number, right? You can bang through them. It's not too much. You get to hurry up a little bit. You get to enjoy the exercise. It's not like 30 or 40. Not saying that 30 or 40 box squat jumps are bad, but ten are much better. All right, knee hug press, right? Bring those knees in, press in the hands up and out of the way. If you got a weight, that is good. If you don't have a weight, that is fine too. You gotta find what works for you. All right, find your rhythm, find your pace. Finish those 10 knee hug presses. We go to our last line, number six, clean, squat, press and lunge. Four on each side, get that rhythm, get that flow. Lunge, right? This might feel weird without doing the walk up with the push up. <laughs> feels great. Feels great. All right. I think she's lying. I think she wants the push ups. All right, guys. We're cruising. We're cruising. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Nice job. Nice job. For each side. Clean squat. Press and lunge. All right. It doesn't. All of a sudden in the main portion. I know. It is. It is thick. It is thick out there. Cut it with a knife. Oof. All right. For each side, he clean, squat, press, and lunge. We did that after our knee hug press. Next up, a more box squat jumps before our last exercise of round two, the whip row. All right, good work, guys, good work. Again, at home, if you're going at a different pace, right? Number five was your halo with the box squat jumps, knee hug press, clean squat, press and lunge. We just finished here, and we're on to the box squat jumps. Nice, nice, nice. No problem, no problem. Look at that. Just knocked out 60 box squat jumps. Oof. Piece of cake, piece of cake. Whip row to finish. All right, bring those knees in as we kind of whip the hands to one side. Both hands go to one side. Nice job, nice job. 20 of your whip row. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Keep pushing there, keep pushing. Get it done, get it done, keep the breathing up. Oof, baby. All right, nice, 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 nice. That equals round two, get another drink, wipe the brow. Pet the kitty cats, let the dog out, wake up the kids, do what you have to do, you gotta do. We got one more round and then our bonus round. Bonus round's gonna go fast, that's gonna be a fun one. Don't worry about the bonus. So this round, we're not gonna do the core. We're gonna do the exercise with our weight. Then we're gonna do our step ups. Then we're gonna do our box squat jumps. So 20 step ups, 10 box squat jumps. This is a high cardio round. Woo, we ready? All right, let's start with our V climbers.
Here we go. One arm, one knee, driving up like you're in a marching band, right? Nice and proud, nice and tall, nice and long with those spines. Getting that arm nice and high. Try not to put any holes in your ceilings, though, of course, if you're in a basement. Careful with that at home. 10 and 10, 10 and 10. All right, good work, guys, good work. And then we go step ups, 20, box squat jumps, 10. Get that rhythm now, get that pace. All right, good, 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 good. And again, last round here, so if you're feeling it, increase that intensity. Keep on pushing through. Finish your 20 step ups. Turn, go right to those box squat jumps. 10 of them. All right. Nice job, nice job. Next up, goblet lunge. Whew. Well done, guys, well done. Guys, good work, good work, good work. Nice deep range of motion if you can. 20 lunges. Nice job. Stay nice and tall. Make sure those shoulders stay back a little bit. Keeping your balance. Weight on that front heel. Good work, good work, good work. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. You got it. You got it. You got it. You finish those lunges. Whew, shake it off. And back to the step ups. Here we go. Step up, then box squat jump time. 20 step ups, 10 box squat jumps. Here we go. Nice pace, nice flow into it. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Whew. Good connection on these exercises. Step up right to your box squat jumps. Good work. Good work. Whew. All righty. All righty then. Next up, high pulls. Whew. You got it though, you got it, come on, come on. Push through those last box squat jumps. Make it happen and get to that high pull. Here we go. Right, shake it off, come on. Nice deep breath. Let's get back to it. I don't know why they can hear me. All right, high pulls, guess what? Back to our step ups and box squat jumps. There we go. All right, nice job, nice job. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Step ups to the box squat jumps. Woo! Kill a combo here. Kill a combo. But well, you guys have got it. You guys are doing fantastic. Keeping it up. Woo! Way to push. Way to push. Way to push. 
All right, guys, looking good, looking good. Next up, side plank row. Dumbbell or kettlebell. If you can, dumbbell is a better way to do this. Stack those feet, stack those hips, shoulders right on top of that straight arm. Nice and strong. So press through that ground with that grounded hand. Squeeze that elbow up nice and high. As we pull it up, 10 on each side. Nice job, nice job. Good work, guys. Good work, good work. Keeping it up, keeping strong, keeping steady. Come on. Ten of them, ten of them. Back to our step up. Box squat jump combo. A few more of these to go, guys. Getting those legs in good shape. Good work, good work, good work. All right, all right, all right. Nice job, nice job. push way to push way to push all right we're up to number five on our list of exercises that's the halo ten of them keep those arms up nice and high all right just ten of them get that big old range of motion try to get it all the way to the back of the neck shoulders roll it around keep the core nice and tight you can always make this more difficult by standing on one foot or keeping your feet close together more uh, you keep your feet clo closer together, the more difficult it is to stay, keep your balance, the more the core has to work. Nice job, nice job. Here we go, second to last set of steps, box squat jump combo. Good work guys, good work, good work. Here we go, keep that breathing up, couple deep breaths, get right back to it, come on. Right, way to transition, right from step ups to box squat jumps. Good work, guys, good work, good work. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Man, way to push. You guys are excellent, excellent job, excellent job. Last exercise on the list, clean squat, press and lunge. Four on each side. Guys are cruising, looking excellent. Good work, good work, good work. Keep that head up. Keep the breathing going. That's it, that's it, that's it. Whew. All right, all right. You can tell it's a tough workout. You guys are bent over a little bit, breathing heavy, I'm imagining. Oh, I can't hear you breathing. I can always see you breathing, though. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Here we go. Let's get a strong finish here, guys. Let's get a strong finish. Remember, our bonus round is just the core. All right. So we're going to crank through these last few exercises. Get that heart rate to zipping. Woo. Nice job, nice job. All right. Blast through those last sets there, the clean squat, the press, the lunge, and then we have one more time on those boxes. Step ups, box squat jumps.
Nice job, guys. Nice job. Oof. Good work, good work, good work. Finish strong now. Finish strong. Finish strong. Woo! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good work, good work, good work. Way to finish. Way to finish the regular workout, but we still have time left on the clock. We still have some core exercises to do. Woo! Yes, ah. Uh. Now you can just take your time, nice, slow, control, do six of your core exercises. Six core exercises. We're going to start with our... Six of each. No, what's that? I thought you meant six of each of them. No, 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 just one through six. <laughs> one through six. Plank walk-ups. When you are ready, gather that breath, wipe that brow, take a drink. If you're ready to go, whew, let's go. Plank walk up. Times 10. All right, excellent plank walk up. Then we go to our lying toe touch is next. Get 20 of your lying toe touches. Get a long arm, long leg. Whew. Breathe. Again, you make this more intense by keeping the feet off the ground the whole time. Adding the intensity is bringing the shoulders way up off the ground. You got 10 on each side. 20 total. You go back and forth. You can stay on one side, whatever works for you. Nice job, nice job. Keep breathing up, keep the breathing up, right? We had our heart rate skyrocket at the end of the workout. Now we're slowing things down a little bit with our actions, but our heart rate's still up there, so we're breathing nice deep breaths. Side plank crunch march combo is what's next. Here we go, nice and strong. Elbow down to your knee, elbow to your palm, up your hand on the ground. Here we go. All right, 10 on each side, guys, remember? 10 on each side, here we go. Good work, good work, good work. Nice steady pace as we finish strong with our core. Side plank crunch, march, combo. We go into mountain climbers next, all right? And again, at home, if you're at a different pace, we started this whole core bonus round with our plank walk-ups, lying toe touches, side plank crunch, march, combo. Mountain climbers. Next up is a knee hug press. And you finish it all with a whip row. If you can do the knee hug press with the weight, that's great. If not, just use your hands or whatever works for you. But here we go. We're trying to finish with a nice, good, strong, intense push. So hopefully you can use this with the weight. Otherwise, get the shoulders all the way down to the ground. And then bring those knees right into the chest. Good, strong press. Woo. Just 10, just 10. Finish with a whip row. Woo. And that'll be it. That'll be it. Good way to finish. Good way to finish. Here we go. There we go. Whipping those arms to one side as you bring those knees in. Nice, good squeeze. Woo. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. Deep breaths. Nice job, guys, nice job. Again, we're done when we finish these whip rows, so let's get after them. 20 total, and that's it. 
Woo. Good finish, guys. Good finish, good finish, good finish. Woo. Righty. Well, I'll leave you with that, guys. Good way to finish. Good Fast Friday. Awesome job. And again, thanks so much for sticking with us these couple of months, being at home doing these workouts. It hasn't been easy, but we're getting most of you back in on Monday. Some of you are selecting to stay home. That's fantastic. We'll still give you these workouts to do at home. It'll just feel a little different as I won't be talking you through the whole thing, but I will put a camera on the class so we can enjoy it just the same. So give it a good thumbs up. Thank you much. Have a great weekend.